The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 21. The third floor was not very big, barely 100 square meters. It contained pitifully few cultivation techniques to select from. The floor contained seven kinds of assault cultivation techniques and 49 kinds of auxiliary cultivation techniques. All in all, just over 10 books, but all top-notch cultivation techniques. Only demon students had the qualifications to cultivate. Just opening a book at random required powerful insight. For the very few medium-level cultivation techniques, such as Tempest, powerful insight was the core requirement. But for any of the top-notch cultivation techniques, the basic requirement was powerful insight. No wonder they were only available to the top 10 demon students. If the rest of the students were to try, they would not comprehend. The sixth article was not a technique suited to Su Yu, who was inevitably disappointed. He read, Ah, the remnants of the manual of the cultivation technique Purple Star Thunderbolt, a type of fist arts. After cultivation one can condense the currents of thunder and lightning into power within one's fists. Formidable, ferocious, powerful destructive force. This manual is a remnant with only one stage, cultivation technique ranking unclear. No one can cultivate successfully. Basic requirement, powerful insight, core requirement, unclear. Su Yu silently cursed the, unclear, cultivation requirement and thought that was why no one could succeed. However, among the stage 3 cultivation techniques, this was the only suitable manual. In the spur of the moment, Su Yu made use of space-time manipulation, spending 10 jewel hours memorizing. Su Yu read through the remaining 49 types of auxiliary cultivation techniques one by one. Unfortunately, these were like the stage 2 techniques. It would seem Cloud Shadow was the training institute's most powerful light body cultivation technique. Ah, how can a silver student enter stage 3? A skeptical voice came from the stairs. Su Yu looked over as he was about to leave. There were two people, one of them a youth clothed in green, with big eyes and thick brows. He stared at Su Yu in consternation. To his side was another youth with a glacial aura around him and an unusual head of silver hair. The silver-haired youth with cold eyes took a glance at Su Yu, turned around and went downstairs. Shelly, why are you leaving? asked the first youth as he followed. With his callous voice, cold to the point of freezing, the silver-haired youth retorted, it's gross being in the same room with some silver student, breathing in the same air. Su Yu mirthlessly laughed, he feels it is gross to breathe the same air as me. Ha ha, who's forcing you to breathe? You can stop breathing. Su Yu shrugged. Without even turning his head, the silver-haired youth coldly spat out, scram. You're unfit to even speak to me. Su Yu shook his head and laughed, too lazy to be bothered with such a person. He was pondering the three manuals of cultivation techniques he had obtained, fervent in his thoughts. Using the cloud shadow trick, he glided effortlessly like the shadow of a white cloud, and like duckweeds drifting with the waves from the graceful flap of a startled swan. In the blink of an eye, he overtook the two students, and leapt onto the first floor to show the elderly guardian his latest cultivation technique choice. Tempest. Another difficult cultivation technique. The elderly guardian was astounded, but gave no reminder this time. If this person could comprehend Cloud Shadow, it seemed his insight must be extraordinary. The youth with thick brows stared at the back of Su Yu with some astonishment, it's actually Cloud Shadow. Shelly, it seems like even you haven't succeeded in this cultivation. The silver-haired youth's stone-cold face slightly darkened. He snorted, I am too busy for this cultivation. He's only a silver, to succeed in his cultivation merely cost him lots of time, that's all. Really, from the student number plate on his chest, it seems he's soon to become a gold student, surmised the youth with thick brows. Su Yu returned to the courtyard, packed up the scarlet bow and dry provisions, and hurried into the mountains. The curriculum at the training institute was relatively relaxed, without any mandatory rules. The students were allowed great flexibility without needing to request leaves of absence and so on. After half a day, Su Yu entered the Twilight Mountains once again. Su Yu could not help but smile when he passed by the spot where he battled the Fire Dragon. He wondered about the young princess whom he'd sucked the poison from and whether he was still wanted by the king. During the day, Su Yu hurried along without any rest, and fully utilizing the Cloud Shadow trick, leapt through the forest.
At night, he meditated and cultivated tempest, demonic eyes, and purple star thunderbolt. Half a month went by in a flash. Su Yu had followed the directions given to him by Xuan Lefei and went to the cave guarded by a pair of Category 1 demonic beasts. Within this half a month of traveling, Su Yu had improved his cultivation techniques greatly with his encounters of all different kinds of wild beasts, some of which caused him to shudder. The long period of combat and cultivation had reaped enormous rewards for him. The cultivation of Universal Stroke had reached the completion stage, the power in his fists and legs maximized. With the cultivation completed for Stage 2 of the Cloud Shadow, his speed was already comparable to a Level 3 Peak student. Even with the latest medium level cultivation technique Tempest, with a total of three stages, he had already completed the cultivation of stage 1. Although it was extremely difficult to comprehend, with space-time manipulation the five whole nights spent on the cultivation was equivalent to 100 nights when multiplied by 20. His power of insight might be weak, but it was still no match for the terrible long period of enlightenment. Thus, there was achievement within a few days. Now, he could whip a blast of cold wind with just one leg. If the cultivation of stage 2 were to be completed, a cold fog could be raised to hit and freeze the target. And if the cultivation of stage 3 were to be completed, the legs could kick up a powerful tempest. But he actually made the fastest progress with the demonic eyes. This exceeded all of Su Yu's expectations. Occasionally Su Yu's pair of obsidian irises had a glint of strange black light when he blinked. The only requirement of demonic eyes was gifted spiritual power. And it seemed his talent was terrifyingly good. It was easy for the cultivation technique to backfire. But up to that point, it had not been dangerous. He had triumphantly progressed to stage 2 and completed it. Demonic eyes had three stages. One could cause a target to faint with a diabolic piercing stare when stage 1 cultivation was completed. With the completion of Stage 2, a ray of light could be shot to wound the target's spirit, which was what Chen Tianan, having completed the same stage, tried to do on that day, almost turning Su Yu into an imbecile. It was said that with the completion of Stage 3, one could thrust a diabolic sword and shatter a target's soul, causing inexplicable death without any visible traces or signs. Su Yu had just completed Stage 2 cultivation, and the result was amazing. Just yesterday, he confronted a mountain tiger, shot a ray of diabolic light, caused it to lose its faculties and turned it feeble and inert. The only thing that Su Yu regretted was not making any headway with the Purple Star Thunderbolt cultivation technique because of its unclear ranking. No matter how much time had elapsed with Su Yu's manipulation, he was unable to comprehend even a little, which frustrated him. Indeed, no one can successfully cultivate this technique. Is it because of the missing core requirement? Su Yu was puzzled as to what the core requirement for Purple Star Thunderbolt was. With this thought, Su Yu continued to hurry on to his destination, which should have been near, according to the directions. Roar. He suddenly heard a mountain shaking noise, which swayed the mountain, startled the birds and scattered all the wild beasts. A Category 1 demonic beast. No, it's more powerful than that. Su Yu looked grave. Like the Fire Dragon, a fully developed Category 1 demonic beast was equivalent to a Level 3 upper tier human. But there was another Category 1 demonic beast, a freak of nature, with strength comparable to that of a Level 3 human at its peak. Then he heard the sounds and growls of humans fighting. With one tip of his toe, Suyu glided over within a heartbeat, hid behind a boulder and peeked from a mile away. With his enhanced vision, he could clearly analyze the situation from that distance. He saw a huge tiger with spikes on its back fighting with three humans. All three were youths but with formidable strength, the weakest one a level 3 lower tier and the strongest one actually a level 3 peak. Li Minghao. Su Yu narrowed his eyes and immediately discovered that the level 3 lower tier person was the gold student Li Minghao. The unforgettable incident remained fresh in Su Yu's memory. Because he snatched Zhu Sen's girlfriend away and played her like a fiddle, he was challenged by Zhu Sen. Even though Zhu Sen was powerful, ranked number 3 among the silver students and a level 3 lower tier as well, he still suffered at the hands of Li Minghao. Without question, the remaining two strangers had to be gold students. All three of them banded together to surround and attack the huge barbed tiger, with the level 3 peak gold student taking the lead, assisted by the other two. 
Cascading sword. The level 3 peak gold student, with a glint in his eyes, held a long sword with a bamboo handle to seize the opportune moment. The long sword swept through the air in a beautiful arc, cold and graceful, like a dazzling sword of death. Roar. The huge barbed tiger was stabbed in the neck, its heart pierced by the long bamboo sword. But the demonic beast's will to live was strong, fighting back even at death's door. Its enormous tiger claw furiously swatted at the long bamboo sword in its neck and sent it flying. The level 3 peak student, slightly pale, snapped, fall back. Look for higher ground and hide. Its wounds are fatal, death is only a matter of time. We'll patiently wait. It's needless to take any more risks to attack it. He took the lead to climb up an ancient tree as he spoke. Li Minghao hurriedly followed and looked for a big tree. The dying demonic beast's counter blows were terrifying. However, there was only one big tree there which could withstand the strikes of the huge barbed tiger. All three of them climbed the big tree at the same time. They managed to reach the top when the huge barbed tiger caught up with them. However, before they could heave a sigh of relief, a turn of events made them wince. The tiger went berserk and used the barbs on its back to strike the ancient tree. Crack. The sharp barbs penetrated the ancient tree, and it teetered on the verge of collapse. Oh no. Quickly. Evacuate. The old tree is going to fall. The level 3 peak student's face was ashen. The tiger definitely intended to kill them. Unfortunately, it was too late. Crash. The big tree suddenly split amid derisive laughter. All three of them were trapped within the branches. They tried to dig their way out and flee in whichever way they could, to no avail. The huge barbed tiger had already pounced on and stared around with its bloodshot eyes. It would bite off one's head with its jaws, should anyone emerge at this time. The tiger, suddenly aware of someone's breath at its foot, swiped the leaves with its claws to uncover a gold student whose legs were crushed underneath the branches. And a level 3 upper tier at that. At this moment, he was scared to death, looking at the tiger's head so close to its hand when its ferocious mouth opened widely in his face and let out a horrifying screech in its death throes. Whoosh. Just then, an iron arrow whistled through the air before it struck. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 22. At a tricky but precise angle, the arrow hit the huge barbed tiger right in its eye. One of its very few weaknesses. Roar. The barbed tiger felt the pain immensely. Shot blind in one eye, it used its other eye to seek out its enemies. From a tree in the distance, a youth clad in white quickly held up a scarlet bow in his hands. At the same time, a second arrow was shot. The tiger let out a roar, gave up the youth at its paw, and dodged swiftly. It wanted to chase Su Yu, but the latter's bow and arrow kept shooting, completely airtight. Desperate to flee, it growled as it dragged itself away, severely injured. Su Yu put away his scarlet bow, sprang into the woods, and chased it. Free from the clutches of death, the three gold students were covered in cold sweat. Quickly, go after it. The three immediately pursued. The huge tiger's will to live was very strong. It ran for half a day before it was exhausted and died. Su Yu worked quickly with his hands and stripped the tiger's hide, which was extremely valuable. Ah, what is this? Su Yu suddenly found, inside the huge barbed tiger's mouth, a tough black nut stuck in its teeth, preventing it from being swallowed or crushed. Su Yu found it difficult to pull it out without help. Stop. A shout came from behind. The three gold students quickly arrived, saw the meat from the flayed tiger hide, and then looked at Su Yu's hand holding the black nut when their expression changed instantly. Li Minghao found him familiar looking, and recalled, isn't this the newly crowned Silver King, Su Yu? It's you. The Silver King, Su Yu. The other two gold students looked at each other and heaved a sigh of relief that it was a fellow student. They would have to safeguard against a stranger. Su Yu merely glanced at him and focused his gaze on the other two. So you're Su Yu, the Silver King. I'm Lu Xuan, this is my younger brother, Lu Xing. Lu Xuan was a level 3 peak gold student. Su Yu's brows twitched in recognition of Lu Xuan's name. He had heard of him, a gold student ranked in the top 3 of the most powerful. Fancy meeting him here. And Lu Xing, though not as famous as his brother, was no small fry. He too was a gold student ranked 10th and powerful. Do you have something you would like to say to me? Su Yu calmly held the black nut close to himself. 
Seeing this, Lu Xuan raised his brows, but kept silent when he saw how Lu Xing was safe and sound. If Su Yu had not lent a hand in time, his brother would have lost his life to the tiger. Reluctantly obliged to his savior, Lu Xing's lips quivered, finding it difficult to ask for the black nut as he could not bear to be known as ungrateful. Li Minghao, who had no such qualms about it, smiled coldly. We were combining our forces to kill the demonic beast when you barged in the middle of it to take advantage. And you're not afraid of bursting at the seams by grabbing all the spoils for yourself. What do you want? Su Yu was unperturbed even though he once looked up to Li Minghao. Not anymore, now that things were different. Li Minghao curled his lips. What? Let go of the tiger skin and leave the black nut. Since you helped, the tiger meat is yours to take. What if I said no? Su Yu hated people like Li Minghao who abused their power and did whatever they wanted. Like Qin Feng, he bullied and humiliated others' wives, daughters and their families. Li Minghao smeared, now that you are the Silver King, you're becoming full of yourself, aren't you? Such insolence in front of a gold student. I'm going to count to three. If not, do not blame me, a gold student, for bullying a silver student like you. Li Minghao extended three of his fingers to show what he meant. Smiling coldly, Li Minghao put down a finger. Swoosh. This time, Su Yu moved and rapidly sprang forward five meters. He got within attacking distance of Li Minghao in two steps. Dumbstruck, Li Minghao's smile froze as he hastily tried to fend off the blows. Universal stroke. The punches and kicks came fast and furious, one after another without a break. The attack seemed endless, but because of the rapid battering, 64 blows were dealt with just two breaths. Ah. Li Minghao, unable to resist any longer, took a kick in the chest that hurt him internally and spurted blood from his mouth as he hurled backwards. Su Yu lightly landed, looked indifferently upon his appalled face and said coolly, I did not want to attack you, but you thought too highly of yourself. As he said it, Su Yu helped bend the last finger to complete the three counts, three. You lost. With just three breaths, he instantly defeated a gold student in the top 30 ranking. The Lu brothers were shocked. The newly crowned Silver King was more powerful than Chen Tianan, the predecessor who lost to Li Minghao in one move. Su Yu just won with one knockout blow. Lu Xing refused to accept it and coldly chided, Su Yu. You shouldn't be so arrogant even if you have saved my life. Robbed us of our trophies and injured one of us. Since you're so confident, how about a duel? Lu Xing said stonily as he stepped forward. His powerful energy had given him the absolute advantage to suppress Su Yu. Su Yu brushed the dust off his robe and smirked, If I had known earlier, I should have waited for you to be eaten before doing anything. It really doesn't pay to be nice in this world. Come back here, you idiot. Lu Xuan seethed as he pulled Lu Xing back. Feeling disgruntled, the younger brother struggled, he is being such an intolerable bully. Shut your mouth. Lu Xuan angrily rebuked and managed to shut up a resentful Lu Xing, while his occasional glances at Su Yu were not friendly. Lu Xuan cupped his fists and apologized, I hope brother Su can forgive my younger brother, who's still inexperienced. Even though they were both peers, he had used an honorific, brother Su, thus showing the respect gained by Su Yu's strength and power. Su Yu nodded, A, if there's nothing else, I, Su, will take leave of you. Wait, did brother Su journey here in search of the place guarded by the demonic beasts? Lu Xuan's eyes flashed with the thought that it was too much of a coincidence to run into each other here. Su Yu had in fact guessed their destination was the same cave with the spirit treasure, as Xuan Lefei had told him. Without any need to hide, Su Yu thought for a little while and confirmed, yes. Lu Xuan smiled. What does brother Su think about traveling with us? We can look after each other. There are bound to be many dangers in that heavily guarded place. Su Yu peeked at Li Minghao, shook his head and refused. He was reluctant to travel with Li Minghao, who might stab him in the back, given his grudge. Li Minghao clenched his teeth, already bracing himself for the outrage, and angrily turned to leave. Brother Lu, I apologize. I, Li, now say goodbye to you. It was obvious that Lu Xuan was keen for Su Yu to stay but it was inappropriate to drive Li Minghao away due to his honor. It was beneath Li Minghao's dignity to accept such charity. Lu Xuan pretended to urge him to stay for a little while and finally sighed in resignation.
Only then Su Yu joined the pair of brothers. The three of them rested by the lake after they had divvied up the last valuable bit of the huge tiger. Based on what the brothers had revealed, Su Yu now knew the black nut was the crucial reason they had tried to kill the tiger. It was a dark spirit fruit, which was grown in harsh conditions and contained immense power enhancing properties with endless benefits. That night, Su Yu pried open the dark spirit fruit and found its white crystalline pulp with its intoxicating aroma permeating the surroundings. Just one whiff was enough to loosen up one's body, stirring the blood and energy for action. Once swallowed, an icy sensation slowly spread, and a comfortable energy seeped into all the limbs and bones, transforming his body. The transformation and cultivation reached a tipping point. With a powerful energetic breakthrough, he naturally advanced to become a level 3 upper tier. Lu Xuan saw and inwardly nodded. I heard that this Silver King was just a mediocre level 1 a month ago. Now he's a powerful level 3 upper tier with his cultivation level comparable to the top 20 gold students. Feeling envious, Lu Xing scornfully said, So what if I don't have the same advantageous cultivation boost during my cultivation? I can still beat him with one move. Forget about it, you're no match for him. Lu Xuan subtly shook his head, his eyes flashed. PFF. How's that possible? Even though he completed his cultivation of the universal stroke, my medium level cultivation technique had been cultivated to the third layer completely. He won't be able to withstand even one maneuver if we met force with force. Lu Xing scoffed. Lu Xuan thought and said, I don't know either, it's just a hunch, he must be hiding more powerful strength. At daybreak, Su Yu opened his eyes, which shone a flash of brilliant light, and potent energy radiated from him. He was very satisfied with the powerful breakthrough, but he knew that was not enough. Keen Feng was still a strong gold student ranked second with his cultivation at level 4 lower tier. Su Yu had a long way to go. The group hurried on with their journey after a little rest. Some days later, right before the valley. It is said that a pair of fiery lions guards the cave's entrance, Lu Xuan murmured, wary and cautious. The fiery lion, a category 1 demonic beast, emitted strong blazing flames at burning temperature from its body, an extremely tricky task. According to our original plan, we were going to strangle the demonic beasts together. With brother Su joining us, it should be much easier. Lu Xuan stared into the dark abyss of the valley. Su Yu's crystalline pupils flashed, and his expression slightly changed, run quickly. With these words, he retreated first. Lu Xuan showed little hesitation and immediately bolted. Staring at the dark valley, Lu Xing did not see anything and only grudgingly followed, after some hesitation. What's going on? Spit it out. Lu Xing could barely keep up with the two. His heart beating wildly, Su Yu did not say a word. He had seen a horrible scene with his crystalline pupils, which could see in the dark. About a mile away, inside the dark valley, a youth wearing green killed someone with a snap of his fingers. The victim's strength was comparable to a level 3 peak like Lu Xuan, and yet was annihilated by a snap of the fingers. After having easily killed a person, the youth in green stood perfectly straight in the pool of blood, sensed something, turned his head and directed his sharp gaze directly at Su Yu and the others. The youth smirked. They were exposed. This person's strength was terrifying beyond imagination. He had only ever felt this soul-shattering terror from Housemaster Yi, a level 6 in the martial path. Feeling ignored, Lu Xing was incensed. He charged forward with a whoosh and blocked Su Yu's path. Hey Su, I've put up with you for long enough. You think you can ignore others now that you are the Silver King? Lu Xing shouted with reprehension. Su Yu was holding in his anxiety. That green-clad youth had already discovered them, and Lu Xing, unable to differentiate the good intentions, chose this moment to pick a fight. If you want to die, I won't keep you. Step aside. Su Yu scolded with no time to explain. Lu Xing angrily laughed, you run at the first sign of trouble, and still pretend to be mysterious. Let me use my fists to pry open your mouth. No. Lu Xuan barked, but it was too late. Tail star formation. Lu Xing's two fingers combined as if they were a sword and swiftly arced forward in a streak of light like the tail of a shooting star. Boom. The air cracked and burst with that one powerful shot. Get lost. Su Yu boiled on the inside. Having no time to tangle with him, Su Yu immediately counterattacked. Tempest. 
Su Yu's right leg swayed back and forth like falling leaves in a storm, one foot after another, movement after movement like the waves surging in the vast ocean. Gusts of icy wind whirred around his legs, as if it were winter in the northern mountains. Crack. Blue Xing's finger fractured, and the bones crushed. He was flung back five meters, crashed into a big tree and blood sprayed from his mouth. Blue Xing was aghast, staring at Su Yu in disbelief. He was seriously injured with just one maneuver. He had imagined that Su Yu, an unworthy and inferior silver student, would not be able to withstand a single blow. But in fact, it was him, defeated with a single blow, who was no match for Su Yu. Lu Xuan's eyes suddenly narrowed as he quickly examined Lu Xing's injury, his eyes slightly clouded over and flickering. Then he lightly took a breath, cupped his fists and said, Brother Su, thank you for being lenient. What? Lu Xing was thrashed by the cold air, and Su Yu was being lenient. A deep sense of awe and respect began to rise within him. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 23. Su Yu shot a cold glance at Lu Xing, then gravely turned to face the entrance of the pitch black valley. An indistinct looming figure in green gradually emerged from the dark, causing his pupils to contract. Run. Quickly. He's coming. Su Yu's expression greatly changed. He spurred onwards with cloud shadow, duckweeds drifting with the waves, and disappeared into the woods. Faced with a level 6 of the martial path, he might have even lost the chance to escape. Lu Xuan looked back with contracted pupils. That youth in green, covered in blood, could be smelled a mile away. With his cultivation level, Lu Xuan could not detect clearly, causing a feeling of dread. Run. Lu Xuan, heart pounding and alarmed by the impending doom, carried Lu Xing and quickly took flight. But, he was wise enough not to flee in the same direction as Su Yu. The youth in green wore a cruel and evil grin on his face, both his hands sticky with fresh blood. His sinister gaze alternated between Su Yu's and Lu Xuan's backs. That was a perceptive junior, able to detect me in advance, concealed in the darkness. The youth in green stood still, did not pursue, and instead left the valley in a flash. The goal has been achieved. Those three bastards should count their lucky stars. It's not advisable to stay here any longer, I must quickly retreat and report back to the first prince. Su Yu fled for ages and never saw the youth catch up. He felt a little relieved and ducked into the dense forest. Once he found safety, Su Yu started thinking. In fact, before he entered the Twilight Mountains, he had his suspicions. If anyone had really discovered the cave abode guarded by the demonic beasts, why would the person not secretly search for the treasures himself? Why had he spread the knowledge to the entire world? Even an average student like Xuan Lefei could obtain a treasure map. At that moment, it seemed like the news had been spread on purpose to lure others into the valley and be slain by the youth in green. But, what was his motive? After quietly waiting for half a day, it looked like the youth in green did not follow them. Su Yu pondered, since he has not come after me, he is very likely to have left the valley. The youth in green had been exposed. If he wanted to continue to hide in the valley to lure and kill, he should have killed Su Yu and the others to silence them. Now, since there was no pursuit, it meant that the youth had given up the valley as a hiding place. Pupils flashing, Su Yu thought and thought, turned and darted back. Half a day later, outside the valley, there were whiffs of blood in the wind. Revolving his crystalline pupils around, the youth in green was nowhere to be found. Only the ice-cold corpse was left. With a gentle tap of his toes, Su Yu cautiously approached the side of the corpse. Fourth-ranked gold student, Seng Beer. Su Yu gasped as his pupils contracted. Seng Beer was on good terms with Qin Feng, and was said to be his former girlfriend. She was instrumental in Qin Feng's courtship with Jiang Zuching. As a female student, Seng Beer had freedom of access to the female dormitory and was admired and esteemed by others due to her strong cultivation base. It was said that she had a lot of connections among the female students and knew a lot insider information about them. In the eyes of the former Su Yu, she was a mighty level 3 peak that he would look up to. However, at this moment, having met with such a violent death in this spot, pierced in the middle of her eyebrows by a powerful force, her face was a petrified mask of terror at death's door. When Su Yu crouched down to inspect the body, the youth in green was not after any valuables as he did not take away the precious items found on Seng Beer. 
Su Yu was unceremonious and started to fish things out from her inside pockets. A top grade spirit elixir. Su Yu was slightly taken aback that this did not catch the eye of the youth in green, which showed his peculiar origins. The thought of a top grade spirit elixir quickened Su Yu's pulse as he put it in his inside pocket. In addition, there were also three silver banknotes worth 1,000 tails each, enough to buy another top grade spirit elixir. When he was done, Su Yu prepared to leave. Suddenly, there came faint wisps of a rotten odor that stung his nose. Su Yu revolved his crystalline pupils to look deeper into the valley and he discovered two enormous reeking lions, collapsed in front of a cave abode. Could it be that the treasure map was real? Not a fabrication. That youth in green, to ensure that someone would be lured, really chose a place guarded by demonic beasts. Su Yu glided over in a heartbeat. Though the fiery lions were decomposed, their teeth were worth a fortune. Su Yu took four in total. The fangs held fiery combustible energy within them. Once thrown, they would ignite when they hit their target, causing an explosion which could instantly injure with its flames. The power was similar to the silver pellet that the young princess of Xianyu used. He could keep them for his own use or sell them when he returned. Just four of them would be worth at least 2,000 silver tails. Once properly packed away, Su Yu used his pupils to inspect the cave, which was deathly still and had no sign of life. The cave was not vast, only 100 meters deep. The rock walls radiated faint heat from the blazing flames of the fiery lions. Deciding to give it a try, he walked to the end of the cave and found it was empty. Su Yu could not help but be disappointed, it seemed like the cave was merely a lair for the fiery lions, and they weren't guarding anything. Thinking about it, even if there was genuine treasure, it would already have been taken by that terrifying youth in green. Thump, thump. Suddenly, Su Yu felt the earth under his feet lightly tremble. Staring at the ground, he saw that there was a crimson hairline crack. It would have been extremely difficult to discover the crack were it not for Su Yu's excellent night vision. As he carefully dug at the ground, red-hot crimson liquid began to ooze out, and like a spring, gushed to the surface, with a small pit overflowing in the blink of an eye. Jade Fire Marrow. Su Yu was astounded. He had heard the name of this object more than a couple of times. Rumor had it that the Jade Fire Marrow came from the depths of the earth and had the ability to transform the energy of the body with a strong reaction, far superior to the spirit elixir. Furthermore, the jade fire marrow could also revitalize the body. Different physiques had varying strengths, strong and weak. With a similar cultivation base, a strong physique could become more powerful and ferocious between strikes during long duration of combat. Often, those with stronger physiques had the ability to crush their opponents of the same level. A drop of jade fire marrow was worth at least 100 silver tails in the market. Moreover, there was no market price. It had not been seen in the world for 100 years. Even the royal family had none in their collection. And the jade fire marrow before his eyes was more than a drop, it was a pit full. Su Yu was too excited for words. This precious liquid had the ability to increase the energy of a mighty level 6 of the martial path. How that youth in green would feel if he knew he had overlooked this spot with its immense amount of hidden treasure. What left Su Yu slightly dumbfounded was that he did not have that many jade bottles or pouches with him. Just cultivate on the spot and bring back the excess. Su Yu made up his mind and dug the pit a little deeper, just enough for him to soak in it. Hiss. With his body immersed in the jade fire marrow, Su Yu immediately felt like he was thrown into a deep fryer. The scorching pain shocked his nerves and instinctively made him want to jump out. But his strong determination forced him to press on. Gritting his teeth, large beads of sweat dripped profusely from his forehead. His body was red hot from being scalded. Bear with it. The reason why my body feels so much pain is because it is still relatively weak. My body never had any revitalization foundation, so as long as I grit my teeth to get through this, my body will be completely transformed. One minute gone. Ten minutes slipped away. Half an hour went by. One hour elapsed. Su Yu, with his tenacity, persevered. Finally, three hours later, his body was transformed, and having gradually acclimated, not so painful anymore. After ten hours, he no longer had any discomfort from head to toe. Of all the jade fire marrow in the pit, there was now only a fist-size amount of it left. 
As Su Yu slowly opened his eyes, a powerful force of energy surged within his body. Wow! The Jade Fire Marrow is truly potent. Su Yu discovered to his amazement. His cultivation base unexpectedly reached level 3 peak, only one step away from breakthrough to level 4. When ingested, the Jade Fire Marrow could increase one's cultivation base. Just merely immersing himself in it, his cultivation base had unexpectedly advanced to level 3 peak. Its effect was remarkable. The small remaining amount of jade fire marrow could be consumed when he returned and with its potent properties, Suyu's cultivation base could take another leap. At that moment, Suyu's body and appearance were still weedy. He looked as if a single blow would cause his bones to crack and rattle. Using the same universal stroke cultivation technique, a punch and a kick were more than twice as powerful as before. Su Yu was unable to estimate the power of his own strength. Before this, he had easily defeated Lu Xing, a level 3 upper tier. It should be a cinch to beat his elder brother Lu Xuan. Keen Feng, our gap has further narrowed. Hope you don't get too surprised when the moment comes. Su Yu clenched his fists, his eyes shone with strong self confidence. Looking at the remaining precious amount of jade fire marrow, Suyu promptly went outside to catch a python, flayed the snakeskin, stripped it clean, and used it as a vessel to contain the last remainder bit of jade fire marrow. After the last drop of jade fire marrow was collected, Suyu calculated the time and said to himself, I've already been out for half a month, we'll need at least another 10 to 15 days to hurry back on the road. It's time to return to the training institute, the gold assessment will soon begin. Oh, just as Su Yu finished collecting the last drop of Jade Fire Marrow, he suddenly saw dazzling rays of multicolored brilliance from inside the crevice where the Jade Fire Marrow gushed from. Su Yu continued to excavate along the crack. After having dug half a meter, bang! A natural underground tunnel suddenly appeared as the ground caved in. There were traces of odor from the Jade Fire Marrow in the tunnel, which stretched towards the deep underground. Su Yu, with a sense of wonder, stepped into it and suddenly felt a twinge of pain. It turned out to be the steam from the jade fire marrow in the tunnel, radiating heat. Fortunately, Su Yu's body had been initiated, no longer afraid of the scorching jade fire marrow, otherwise, he might not have had the opportunity to go down the tunnel. After walking for a full hour, Su Yu felt that it was getting more and more difficult to breathe, as if he had already entered several thousand meters deep into the underground. The multicolored brilliance appeared once again at the end of the tunnel. Su Yu immediately rushed over. At the end of the tunnel, which was sealed with clay, there was only one crack through which the outside was revealed. The multicolored brilliance came from outside. Su Yu's curiosity was piqued. He gazed out and found a spacious ancient hall, dilapidated and run down, deeply buried in the depths of the earth. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 24. Suddenly came the voice of a man, get some rest, see your sister. Su Yu looked and his expression slightly changed. A man with features so handsome that even made women jealous, used both hands to offer a water bag with a concerned look. In front of him was a lady as beautiful as a celestial beauty, eyes sparkling like the reflection of the autumn moon on a lake, clear and serene, with an air of placidity, risen above it all. This person was the same celestial beauty who gifted the scarlet bow to Su Yu. At that moment, the celestial beauty faced a multicolored wall, both eyes concentrated on it with rapt attention. She appeared to make out something from the wall. Exhausted, the celestial beauty turned her gaze away after strenuously fixating on it for quite a while. Thank you. She took the water bag calmly, her red lips slightly parted, and took a small sip. The handsome as the devil youth was the gold king, Fang King Zhu. He'd met up with the celestial beauty, once again arriving at this historical site to gain insight from an ancient remnant of the mural. Any result, Sunyu's sister, inquired Fang King Zhu. The celestial beauty put down the water bag, tiredly rubbed the space between her eyebrows, and slightly shook her head, no. Indeed, it is a relic from 1000 years ago. Just a mere remnant of the mural is difficult to gain insight from. Fang King Zhu deplored, the mural is flickering too fast. It's hard for us to capture the specific contents of it, so it's difficult to gain insight. The celestial beauty said a little helplessly, the full moon will pass soon and the mural will once again fall into silence. We still have nothing to show as before, so perhaps this is fate. 
This place does not belong to us. With a strange look concealed in his eyes, Fang Qingzhu quietly said, Hum, see you sister, rest for a little while, we'll wait to leave. The celestial beauty nodded her head and closed her eyes to meditate. The long period of staring at the mural had mentally drained her. Su Yu, who had secretly observed this scene, did not know why his chest felt a little tight. In his heart, the celestial beauty was a fairy risen above it all. Now it looked like she and this youth seemed to have a close relationship, to the extent that these two people shared secrets. The tightness in his chest eased as he took a light breath. His commitment to the martial path was unwavering, women were just mere passing fancy along one's life journey. His heart was with the martial path. From the conversation between these two people, it seemed that this multicolored mural contained something very mysterious. Su Yu attempted to look over. Immediately there was the sound of a boom and a faint prickling in his head. Ah, the mural jumps around too quickly, just looking at it for a moment makes my mind uncomfortable. Su Yu rubbed his temples and took a few deep breaths. But, Su Yu did not give up. Perhaps it would have been hopeless for ordinary people, but Su Yu could manipulate space-time. Revolving his crystalline pupils slowed down the surrounding space-time by tenfold. The brilliant multicolored mural immediately slowed down a lot. Su Yu looked intently and found that it was actually made up of two murals, constantly alternating, overwhelming his eyes. He could more or less see the mural clearly, but it was still fast and indistinct. Once again revolving his crystalline pupils, the surrounding space-time became 20 times slower. Right away, Su Yu could very clearly the two murals become as slow as snails. In the first tableau, an old man dressed in green stood on top of the cliff, with an air of otherworldliness, like a celestial immortal. From him, Su Yu experienced an unusual sensation never felt before. Even though the old man was in the mural, he seemed to blend in with the scenery, naturally harmonizing to become a part of nature. Then, the old man faced upwards, with a look of indignation, and his finger drew an arc in the air. That arc, simple and smooth, was obviously effortlessly, but it seemed to contain infinite rhythm, in sync with heaven and earth. Su Yu's mind was blown, that one finger point was infinite and mysterious, yet it was so simple and natural. In an instant, Su Yu felt like he'd grasped something. He subconsciously extended his finger, imitated the same move as the old man, gracefully drew an arc in the air. Ah! It seemed like there was an indescribable mystery that caused the surrounding air to slightly tremble with Su Yu's simple one finger point. Although it was a pale imitation, only one ten thousandth of the old man's one finger point, it was more than the average person's one finger point, with an additional flow of rhythm. Su Yu's eyes slowly regained clarity, his mind still very much immersed in the profound one finger point. He felt as if he had touched a mysterious doorway. Whoosh! The image switched and the second mural appeared. Amid the billowing dark clouds in the sky above the old man, a vortex materialized and a gigantic palm, the terrifying size of 100 Zhang, suddenly swatted down from the dark clouds. With one swat, came new earthquakes, landslides and roaring tsunamis, and the whole world crumbled. When the gigantic palm dissipated, the 10,000 Renhai cliff no longer existed. The body of the old man, with the air of otherworldliness, was also gone. Only a 100 Zhang-sized palm print was left on the ground. Su Yu's face reddened. He suddenly opened his mouth and spit out a mouthful of blood. There was a look of horror in his eyes. That palm. Too terrifying. Unimaginably frightening. With just one look, Su Yu already could not restrain his body's inner strength from overheating. If he had not gone through the jade fire marrow revitalization, the overheating inner strength could have exploded his flesh and body. Must not look again. Su Yu immediately revoked his crystalline pupils, the shock to his eyes took a long time to dissipate. What happened to you, Sinu sister? Fang Qingzhu suddenly uttered, but his voice sounded somewhat peculiar. The celestial beauty slightly creased her perfectly arched eyebrows, unconsciously pulled back her collar a little. Somehow, she felt her body begin to feel feverish. Senior sister, you are feeling warm, aren't you? An evil laughter came from Fang Qingzhu as he slowly walked forward, the evil thoughts in his eyes no longer concealed. What? The celestial beauty's mind raced. With a flash of understanding, she looked at her water bag and said with a stern but beautiful expression, You, you did something to my water. 
Splat. The water bag in her hand dropped to the ground. Fang King Zhu slowly nodded and chuckled darkly, ha ha, not bad, it's the imperial capital's most famous 1000 year love potion. You can be virtuous and chaste, but you will still fall hopelessly in love with me after taking it. A trace of panic flashed in eyes of the celestial beauty who spoke crisply, Fang King Zhu. How dare you do such a despicable thing? If you dare touch me, my father will never let you get away with this. Ha ha. Fang King Zhu looked at the celestial beauty's snow-white skin, gradually flushed, her eyes blazing. He was almost too excited to speak. Your father. So what? I'm not afraid to tell you. My father has returned from the sanctuary, he's already at the martial arts training institute. What can your father dare do to me? Does he dare try to even touch me? Fang King Zhu laughed maniacally. The celestial beauty's heart skipped a beat, her face betrayed a look of alarm. The sanctuary. Those two words were enough to make the world's heroes and warlords fall to their knees, enough to make anyone revere. The master of the sanctuary was the legendary Holy King. Everyone in the sanctuary had association with the Holy King. To put it bluntly, there was a saying that the empire must treat anyone who came from the sanctuary with courtesy, even if they were a dog. Besides, Fang King Zhu's father had special status in the sanctuary. One word from him, one countenance or order was enough to change the fate of the martial arts training institute in the Xianyu prefecture. Her father was not even worth a mention compared to his father. Gradually feeling the strangeness in her body and her mind becoming sluggish, the celestial beauty's eyes held thoughts of outrage and anguish. Her eyes revealed a trace of her murderous intent. Killing him would get rid of the crisis. Fang King Zhu held his hands while he stood and sneered, with your level 5 strength, killing me is easy, but do you dare to? My father has known for a while that you and I had entered the forest together. When I die and you live to return. Ha ha, believe it or not, my father will kill every single living thing in your family in his rage. Given his father's formidable position, the celestial beauty's body gave a shudder at what his father would indeed do. The celestial beauty felt both outrage and anguish. Fang King Zhu soon saw the celestial beauty gradually weakening. He strode forward, ha ha. Chia Jingyu, as long as you are willing to promise me, son of a nobleman, you'll stand to benefit. Not only I can guarantee great wealth and glory for your whole family, I can easily bring you to the sanctuary. I can do all that as long as you obediently become my concubine, what do you say? The celestial beauties I flashed with her resolve of refusal. I would rather die first than yield. The celestial beauty drew out a graceful sword and held it to her neck. Fang King Zhu's expression changed, threatened, if you try to commit suicide, I'll immediately let my father destroy your entire family. Can't even die. The celestial beauty was saddened. Unless you promise me, or else your family will never have peace. Chia Jingyu, you'd better think clearly about this. Fang King Zhu sneered repeatedly. He was determined to have Chia Jingyu. She placed great importance on her family and valued them immensely, which would compel her to submit. He'd wanted Chia Jingyu for far too long. Since his arrival at the Martial Arts Training Institute in the Xianyu Prefecture, from the first moment he laid his eyes on Chia Jingyu, he began to long for her ethereal face. Unfortunately, he could not be too arrogant while his father was in seclusion at the sanctuary. Having waited a full year for his father to arrive at the training institute, he was no longer able to suppress his evil desires. He had to have Chia Jingyu. The celestial beauty's resolve of refusal increased, her voice mournful but absolute, even in death, you will not sully my innocence. My father, even if I were to commit an offense towards the sanctuary because of my own suicide, would still be proud of me, proud of a daughter like me. The celestial beauty's last choice was to use death to prove her innocence. Damn it. Stop. Fang King Zhu miscalculated by a step, and felt great remorse. The celestial beauty was upright and outspoken, beyond his expectations. She sadly smiled. Fang King Zhu. What goes around comes around, it's the natural order of things. I may not get my appropriate retribution, but you will eventually get your due punishment. With these words, she was ready to slit her throat and take her own life. The celestial beauty was going to kill herself right in front of his eyes. All of a sudden, the wall exploded and cracked. Two iron arrows, quick as lightning, were shot towards the two people. One of the arrows was directed at Fang King Zhu's eye. 
The other arrow was aimed at the sword in the celestial beauty's hand. Fang Qingzhu dodged the sudden attack in a flurry. Limp and weak because the drug had taken effect, the celestial beauty was too powerless to resist and the sword fell from her hand. Whoosh. A masked white shadow suddenly bolted from the cave, took hold of the celestial beauty's waist, and flew back into the cave. Fang Qingzhu angrily reacted, put her down. The terrible force of the inner strength and power of a level 4 upper tier of the martial path came sweeping through. Su Yu's body tensed. He found it hard to breathe and felt the deadly force of a palm at his back. At that critical moment, Su Yu abruptly turned around and threw a hard punch. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 25. Bam. A fist and palm hit each other and a loud bang rang out, reverberating in the vast emptiness of the underground hidden chamber. Su Yu was repelled five or six meters back, a sour sweet smell came up from his throat, his internal organs were jolted repeatedly. With the strength of this palm, he quickly tightened his embrace of the celestial beauty who leapt into the cave. Fang Qingzhu was aghast. Though he'd repelled Su Yu, he had also been driven back three meters by Su Yu's punch. A dull pain came from his palm. What a terrifying body. The other person clearly was only a level 3 peak but reached the strength of a level 4 lower tier with his physical body. Seeing how the other person was going to take his woman, Fang Qingzhu was enraged. With his level 4 upper tier's astonishingly fast speed, he rushed through the hold in a blink of an eye. Just then, three of Scarlet Teeth attacked at the same time. Three bangs of explosions, with violent flames, engulfed Fang Qingzhu. Fang Qingzhu yelled in pain and rolled three times before the flames were extinguished from his whole body. Not only were his clothes destroyed, his hair and eyebrows are almost completely singed. Several parts of his face were also badly burned. A handsome face that even women were jealous of now looked monstrous, extremely sorry and miserable. Arg! I'll kill you! Fang Qingzhu snarled as he charged into the tunnel, the acute pain inciting his viciousness. Taking advantage of the attack just now, Su Yu had already fled deep into the tunnel. He heard the faint snarl of Fang Qingzhu from behind. Su Yu's thoughts were grave, a level 4 upper tier's strength was truly extraordinary. It was hard to escape even with Cloud Shadow. But, this tunnel was special, it contained the Jade Fire Marrow Vapor, which had the powerful ability to scold the skin. Fang Qingzhu might not be able to catch up to him. Suddenly, the unconscious celestial beauty made a sound. Su Yu looked down, she was short of breath, her brow slightly creased, and her skin was slightly mottled with light redness. Too careless. They'd entered a section in tunnel whereby the jade fire marrow vapor was relatively thick. The celestial beauty, never having experienced the revitalization of the body, was naturally unable to bear it. After some thought, Su Yu laid her on the ground and took out a sheet of snakeskin from his pocket. This was the fire dragon's skin, not only was it exceptionally hard, it also had anti-inflammatory properties. This snake skin was obtained from that black market trader after the haggling over prices. After Su Yu's return from the black market, he had stitched it together, though relatively crudely. It could at least be considered a set of armor. He quickly put him on the celestial beauty. The bottom half was like a pair of trousers, easy to wear. The upper half was cut as a jacket, even stitched with buttons. The entire form was completely modern apparel. While dressing her, Su Yu's expression was clear, with a complete lack of distractions. He reflected that he might not be an upright gentleman, but he also did not want to be a vile person who took advantage of others. The celestial beauty had bestowed him the gift of the scarlet bow. She was someone he respected, no matter what. He should not do anything despicable, and even if it were only in thought, he ought to be ashamed. He silently chided himself. Su Yu quickly dressed her in the snakeskin armor, picked her up and swiftly went upwards. As expected, he celestial beauty's pained expression gradually eased, and she was finally calm. Fang Qingzhu could be heard screaming repeatedly behind them, suffering under the invasion of the jade fire marrow vapor. Unable to keep up, Su Yu gradually pulled away even further. One hour later, Su Yu made his way out from the tunnel. Immediately he found a few big rocks from the surrounding area and threw them into the tunnel to seal the opening. Stuck in the narrow tunnel, Fang Qingzhu could not fully use his hands and feet. It was no small feat to break apart so many rocks. 
So, Suyu carried the celestial beauty and leaped through the forest. Half a day later, he found a hidden cave, laid her down, and then moved a few boulders to seal the opening, lest she be found and attacked by wild beasts while she was unconscious. After which, Suyu quickly left to return to the training institute. At the same moment, at the cave abode in the valley. With the last rock bashed out, Fang Qingzhu finally emerged. His head and face were covered in dust and dirt, and his whole body showed signs of being scalded. His handsome face was thoroughly disfigured. Searching around, Fang Qingzhu realized that he had lost him, and howled like a wild beast, bastard. Better not let me find out who you are, or I'll tear you into pieces. Finally, the night came. The celestial beauty slowly awakened and touched her slightly sore head with a dazed look on her face. Slowly, she gradually recalled what happened and immediately checked her body. Fortunately, there was no sign of being violated, her chastity still intact. Hmm, snakeskin armor. The celestial beauty tried to recall what had happened. Before she lost consciousness, she only remembered a masked white shadow suddenly emerging from the stone wall. Shooting two arrows, it seized her, and used some kind of explosive to beat back Fang Qingzhu. Then he knocked her unconscious. He saved me. The celestial beauty analyzed this development start to finish. Her slender hands gripped tightly at the armor that she was wearing, her heart filled with unspoken gratitude. If he had not appeared in time, her only option would have been to cut her own throat to protect her innocence. Not to mention what unspeakable things Fang Qingzhu could do to her corpse after her death. Who is he? To be able to deal Fang Qingzhu a hard blow, his strength must be very powerful. A ripple stirred the celestial beauty's calm heart. She urgently wanted to find her rescuer, to offer her thanks in person. Though the other person might not care, she wanted to convey her gratitude directly to him. All of a sudden, the celestial beauty thought of someone. Although the other person was masked, those eyes were familiar, as deep as the galaxy, calm and resolute. But this man's strength. She knew of the Silver King, Su Yu, but it could not be him. Who are you, exactly? The celestial beauty's beautiful eyes glittered. Hidden somewhere ten miles away, Su Yu found a safe spot to restore his strength. After breathing lightly for a while, he patted the scarlet bow on his back and felt lighter his heart. Celestial beauty, on that day when I received your gift of the bow, I said I would repay you one day. Now that I had saved you today, consider my debt of kindness to you repaid. Su Yu smiled a little, closed his eyes again and continued to cultivate. After ten days, at the edge of the twilight mountains, there was a glint of satisfaction in Su Yu's eyes. Ten days and nights of cultivation. It took other people twenty nights of cultivation to gain the insight that Su Yu could in one. So, for these ten nights, he had actually been cultivating for two hundred full nights. Cloud Shadow, the light body cultivation technique based mainly on comprehension, had already been cultivated to stage 3 upper class, only one step away from the top class. Now, his speed was as fast as a level 4 upper tier, and that was why could hurry back in 10 days. And as for Tempest, which was a very difficult to comprehend medium level cultivation technique, he had successfully cultivated it to stage 2 upper class. Now, his leg technique would generate an ice cold feeling. There was little progress with demonic eyes, it was still at stage 2 top class. Lastly, he had been unable to make any headway with Purple Star Thunderbolt, which made Su Yu laugh bitterly to no end. But unexpectedly, he was becoming more proficient at imitating the old man's finger technique from the mural. He was still miles apart from the old man's technique, there was inherently a unique style of rhythm. Su Yu vaguely felt that if he could comprehend the profound mysticism, his strength would be greatly enhanced. At the break of dawn, Su Yu left the Twilight Mountains. Instead of going back to the training institute, he went to the market. He had the tiger skin of the huge barbed tiger, one fang from the fiery lion, and 3,000 silver tails worth of banknotes, enough to buy some useful objects. The scarlet bow quality was quite good, quite handy to use in the meantime. The arrows, on the other hand, were not so impressive. He only managed to shoot a few inches into the flesh when he launched a strike at the fire dragon the last time. Ordinary iron arrows could kill wild beasts but it would be very difficult to kill demonic beasts. Before that, Su Yu needed to deal with the demonic beasts material that he had. 
Several of the materials could easily be sold safely, out in the open at the market. Su Yu arrived at the Xianyu Prefecture's largest demonic beast material shop. The shop was wide and spacious, congested with crowds of people. Shopkeeper, will demonic beast material be accepted? Su Yu went straight to the counter. The shopkeeper lazily leaned over the counter, squinted and looked up and down at Su Yu to size him up. He was casually dismissed with a wave, my shop does not accept these materials, you should go somewhere else. It was very common to see young and inexperienced martial artists around Su Yu's age pick up demonic beast fur and other items from the mountains and treat them as treasures. The shopkeeper did not want to waste his time. Su Yu was stunned. He nodded and turned, shrugged his shoulders and softly muttered, the huge barbed tiger's skin, the fiery lion's fang are worthless. Had better go to the black market, they should accept these. The shopkeeper's old eyes flashed and suddenly widened. He quickly stepped out from the counter and uttered in disbelief, you have such precious demonic beast goods. In particular, the huge barbed tiger, a category 1 demonic beast, was extremely difficult to hunt and kill. The martial artists usually only succeed after paying a heavy price. Su Yu gave him a side glance and curled his lips as if to smile, what, a moment ago you didn't accept demonic beast materials. The rules changed so quickly. The shopkeeper had looked down on Su Yu, who was experienced and could see through him. Now, he would make him work for it a little. With a few dry laughs, the shopkeeper said, formal and courteous, pardon my humble self, my eyes failed me, young sir. Please kindly step inside and we can discuss the details. Su Yu waved his hands, not necessary, the price just needs to be right. Su Yu did not have the energy to haggle over prices. Su Yu nonchalantly tossed the barbed tiger skin and fiery lion fang on the counter for the shopkeeper. Within the city walls, as a student of the martial arts training institute, he was not afraid of others' jealousy. The shopkeeper betrayed a trace of excitement on his face, a huge barbed tiger's skin, there was no market price. The fiery lion's fang was a rather hard-to-come-by commodity. Tiger skin, 1,200 silver tails. Fiery lion fang, 500 silver tails. Total, 1,700, what do you say? The shopkeeper gave a reasonable price. Su Yu muttered to himself and nodded his assent. The shopkeeper was overjoyed to deal with a person of such easy and forthright nature for such a large transaction, very rare indeed. Ha ha, fantastic. I really admire you, young sir. Let's see, I'll give you 2,000 silver tails for this deal. Time. If you have top-notch materials, I would like to invite you to consider our shop for an item or two. I'll certainly buy at a high price. Su Yu smiled his thanks, took the 2,000 silver tails worth of banknotes, and was about to break into a sprint and take off when fighting noises, traveled to his ears, sounding vaguely familiar.